is a raging torrent flooded with rivulets of thought cascading into a waterfall of creative alternatives. I got a DT! I'm seeing gorillas, I tell you! Ah, oh, you're crazy. It ain't got no gas in it. Hold your ears, folks. It's showtime. Welcome to Paranormal UFO and Fringe News Podcast where our goal each week is to bring you the top five fringe news stories in 10 minutes, plus the occasional feature story. And you can now follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Number five, mother claims deceased daughter caught on video. The mother of a toddler who died years ago claims her daughter's spirit is caught on camera. Fabiola Rodriguez was two years old when she died in September 2018. Since then, mother Sandra Gonzalez has had problems with people stealing toys and personal belongings from her grave at the Masonic Cemetery in Las Cruces. Another family's camera later captured this video and showed it to Fabiola's mother, who says she's sure it's her daughter. She had introduced herself and she told us that she had like something like really beautiful to show us that they had captured on their um, video camera. So then she like pulled out her phone and um, she showed it to me and um, she told us like, um, like, well, as soon as like she showed me the picture, like I started like crying. A final image shows what appears to be a man with the little girl. The mother believes it's Faviola guiding another family's brother up to heaven. Number four, Pentagon forming task force to investigate UFO sightings. Pentagon is getting into the business of investigating UFOs. The effort will be unveiled in the next several days. Members of Congress and the Defense Department have long expressed concern about the appearance of unidentified aircraft that have flown over U.S. military bases. There is no consensus as to their origins, but some believe they could be drones operated by America's <laughs> adversaries. Number three. Roswell plans to hire a firm to run UFO festival. The city of Roswell plans to hire an outside firm to run the UFO festival. Earlier this month, the city announced it would take over the festival from Main Street so the nonprofit could concentrate on other projects. During a committee meeting last week, counselors decided to send out proposals in search of a professional event management company to handle the popular event. According to the Roswell Daily Record, the tourism manager says the goal is to elevate the festival and have more of an impact on lodgers' tax. Number two, mass UFO sightings in Missouri. If you noticed strange lights in the sky over the weekend, you aren't alone. KCTV5's Alan Shope went to Lee's Summit to get to the bottom of more than a dozen UFO sightings. I mean, it's actually pretty large. It looked like it was about a mile away. It was not something Felix Figueroa and his friends expected to see last weekend. You know, make sure everyone immediately, while it's still fresh in their mind, draws a picture of what they saw. And uh, so we all took out a piece of paper and we, uh, we all do the same thing. Yeah, a strange metal-looking ship hovering over Lee's summit. Felix says he never really believed in UFOs till now. We were all stunned. I mean, we were all just in awe. I mean, I, I, I don't even know how I didn't run off the road. Felix is not alone. Margie Kay with the Missouri Mutual UFO Network says it was a busy weekend in Kansas City. 17 different people with sightings contacted her office this weekend alone. This last weekend was really, really big. Saturday late night to Sunday morning. During a six and a half hour period, we had so far uh, to date 17 uh, witnesses call in about UFOs that they've seen. No one knows if UFOs actually exist or why they'd be hanging out in the Kansas City area. One thing is for sure, for the folks who witnessed the strange events this last weekend, they wish they'd have taken pictures. Richard Vick wished he'd have taken pictures of a strange sight that he saw in the sky Saturday off 435 and 63rd Street in Missouri. I was looking out my window towards the east under the tree line. There's an orange orb and it was traveling, I guess, 40, 50 miles an hour and it hit the tree line and then it just started to move up and just explode into like five balls. As for Felix, he has a message for those who may not believe. I definitely uh, have second thoughts and I would say that it's a possibility, especially after what I saw. In Lee Summit, Alan Shope, KCTV 5 News. Strange indeed. Well, we called Whiteman Air Force Base. A spokesperson says 
They didn't have anything in the skies Saturday night, and they are not aware of any pending UFO investigations. Number one, Trump considering UFO disclosure. Out to happen to another president. Absolutely, uh, without question. And uh, you are, your administration, you promised would be uh, transparent. And you have done your level best to do that, uh, despite uh, the, uh, the deep state's efforts to uh, bury everything about as deeply as they could. Uh, but I've got one question as we conclude here, uh, because uh, I, uh, actually I, a lot of my friends are, are very concerned about uh, what the federal government is doing when it comes to uh, UFOs. So if I could uh, just ask you, uh, are we going to commit, uh, are you going to commit more resources to, to exploring uh, UFOs and open the documents uh, to the public? Well, I think you're the, probably in this country, you're the UFO expert. So I'm going to be totally guided by the great, <laughs> by the great Lou Dobbs. And I will tell you that uh, I'll do whatever you uh, ask me to do, including total transparency. And i got to tell you, there's probably some pretty good transparency needed there. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> well, Mr. President, I, I couldn't have asked for a better answer. Thank you. Thank you so much, and I'll be calling uh, uh, your office soon to uh, to get that uh, underway. Uh, it's well, been great talking good. with you, sir, and we appreciate your time, Mr. President. Uh, great to have you with us. It's my President great Donald honor. Trump. You've done a fantastic job. Thank, Thank you, sir. You, Lou. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you for the kind words. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm not a puppet. I'm a real boy. <laughs> My mind is a raging torrent, flooded with rivulets of thought, cascading into a waterfall of creative alternatives. I got the big key! I'm seeing gorillas, I tell you! Ah, you're crazy. It ain't got no gas in it. Hold your ears, folks. It's showtime.